International outrage today after British police charged one of their own with the kidnapping and murder of a 33-year-old woman abducted as she walked home. Her alleged killer appeared in court today. At the same time, a large crowd of mourners gathered peacefully in London to remember Sarah Everard, but were pushed back by police. Sarah's death has reignited the debate over the safety of women, as we hear from CTV's Danielle Hamamjan. Nobody imagined the night would unfold like this. An astonishing show of force by police against mourners gathered to remember a woman killed allegedly by one of their own. It happened in South London, but it could have happened anywhere. And at this growing memorial, every woman knows it also could have easily been any one of them. But this time, the victim is Sarah Everard, a 33-year-old marketing executive who, on the night of March 3rd, never made it home. It was supposed to be a 50-minute walk from her friend's house. She left at 9 p.m., spoke to her boyfriend on the phone for 15 minutes, was seen on security cameras, but then at around 9.30, she just vanished. Her body was found seven days later, hidden in the woods in a builder's bag. Even more sickening is who's accused of abducting and killing her. A serving police constable has tonight been charged with the kidnap and murder of Sarah Everard. The suspect is 48-year-old Wayne Cousins, a man in uniform whose job is to protect diplomats and politicians. Sarah was neither. She was a regular woman who is described by family as thoughtful, kind, and dependable. Every woman who has ever walked alone can tell you a story or what's always in the back of her mind. Am I trying to walk along a busy road? Am I walking in a well-lit area? Am I making sure that I'm getting home before dark? Nothing will ever change or develop in this sphere until we as men start to take responsibility for the fact that it is our behaviours our collective socialization that leads some men to be predatory. Among those who paid their respects today was the Duchess of Cambridge, as did hundreds of others throughout the night. As the hours went by, the crowds grew larger, the mood now quiet, somber, with many signs behind me reading, she was only walking home. Sandy. Okay, Danielle, thank you.